ideal trauma therapy that we could imagine. If we could imagine ideal trauma therapy, what would that be? And there's a long list of things which we have to do to get a good ideal trauma therapy. First of all, it should be easy to learn and certainly efficacious. Uh, it should be able to be done in groups and it should be able to be done in remote areas via Skype or other mechanisms. It should not be so prolonged. It should be quick and rapid. It should be uh, gentle. It should not require a lot of expensive equipment and, and, and things to do. It should not uh, have any medications if we can avoid them, to, which have terrible side effects. Um, it should produce, uh, this is the ideal, a permanent cure for the trauma. We, since, since traumatization is so uh, universal, we would want to make it so that it's not so much language dependent and so that we can use it in different places without having to worry about the language becoming an issue. Uh, we'd love it if it could be self-applied. Can you imagine a, a, a trauma therapy that could be self-applied? Um, we would like to see if we could use it to treat almost all the consequences of, of traumatization, you know, substance abuse, depression, anxiety, uh, uh, and other comorbid disorders. Um, and over the last 25 years, I've been uh, uh, doing research on the neuroscience of encoding trauma and, and, uh, and how to de-encode trauma, and we've actually solved the problem, which is what I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, this is really about uh, an exploration over, over, uh, over many years, and the idea uh, was we started to look at trauma, which a little incorrectly in the beginning, that, that it's an event, an event happens, and someone becomes traumatized. And I'll discuss a little later what it means when you have a traumatization. And the idea of traumatization uh, was that there was no safe place. You couldn't find a safe place. You were trapped, literally trapped, and you had no safe place to go. And so, uh, for an event, like it's like a car accident. You're in a car accident, the car is tumbling over and you're stuck in the car. There's no place you can go. You can't say, excuse me, stop the car from tumbling. I'm gonna get out of the car so I don't get hurt. You are trapped. And so in the early stages of, uh, of our thinking about this, we thought, what could we do? What word would be something so wonderful that a person who undergoes trauma would feel comfortable? And the word we came up with was the word haven which is a safe place. And the word havening uh, is the transitive verb, which means to put into a safe place. And for event havening, which is you take an event and you, um, uh, and you treat it, event havening, what we do is we put people into a safe place. So I, 